Hello friends and subscribers, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World here on YouTube. My name is Daniel Rosal. Today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can transplant or move the uh, data volume for a container you're hosting on your Synology to a different volume. So we've been doing a lot of videos lately about this wonderful little application called Homebox for inventory management. And I decided today that I wanted to move the user data to another volume. The reason I did this was because I think it's going to make it easier for uh, backing it up. There is a application in DSM called uh, Snapshot Manager, and it works at the volume level. So if I have these in a separate volume, it'll make it a bit easier for me to take my snapshots. So how would you go about doing that? Okay, so firstly, I just want to show you guys that the system is working. Um, I just left a note here, this data was recorded in volume one, which I thought I deleted. But let me just type one again, YouTube demo video volume one, just to show you that the application is working and we are able to save our data, right? So just remember that it was YouTube demo video uh, volume one. Now I'm going to go into my DSM and the first move we're going to make is we're going to stop the container because uh, when we're doing transplanting of files, we just, as I think a good precaution is, we want to uh, stop the container firstly. So let me do that and wait wait two seconds and we should see that if we refresh the page, the application is not available through the local network because the container is no longer running. Now we need to do a right click, click into details and here we're going to be able to change the connected volume. Okay, so click into the settings tab on the next screen and you're gonna have a area the area here called volume settings. It says map the volumes of the container to shared folders on your Synology NAS. Now I would recommend taking a screenshot of this screen because you're going to uh, want to follow this exactly as it was. There is a, uh, the root level of the data, then there is forward slash data, and then it's important that the access, the container has read write access to the data uh, in that volume. So take a screenshot of that and now we'll go and move over that data. So um, the Docker level here is Docker Homebox. And if you click into Homebox, we're going to get um, all the Homebox data essentially, right? We I did a video about backing up this particular application before this container and uh, in the user data, there's three database files and then there's a uh, sort of media um, uh, folder where you have all the media you commit to the application. So what I'm going to do is copy at this level, right? All the data. And now I'm going to move into my new volume, which is called Homebox Data. And what I'm going to do is simply do a paste skip. So the Homebox user data is now all stored in the root level of the new volume, which is called Homebox Data. Now we just need to go back into our container, tell it that we've moved to this new volume, and uh, we'll try to spin up the container again. Okay, so repeat the same step as before. Go to your containers, right click, and then click on details. And now in the settings tab again, this is where we can add the new uh, container. So we can see here that the original volume was Docker Homebox as the root level for the uh, for the Homebox installation with all the default uh, database and files. And now we're just gonna say, We've now moved to our new volume on the NAS, which can be found in Homebox data. Click select. And we just want to do also the forward slash data because we, if we look at the parameters below for this application, we can see that it's expecting uh, this path to be available for it to read and write data to. Now we're going to delete the original uh, storage location and we're gonna click on save. And now we're going to start up the container with the uh, data in a new location. And we should now get to, if I click on refresh in just a second, there we go, we can get back to the container and didn't, didn't even have to log in again. That seems a little bit suspiciously easy. Uh, but let's try, uh, looks like we're navigating in the system again and I can click on edit. YouTube video volume one was there. I can change that to volume two. I can click on save. And this application is a little bit finicky, but you can see when I refresh the page, it has displayed the uh, data that was saved. So now we are running from a new location and we've changed the storage volume on this particular container on our Synology. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. Until the next video.